everybody, I'm here in front of the C3 building. Gonna go out with the C3 team today. Totally excited, this is gonna be awesome. This would be on the east side of Wall, the west side of San Pedro, and then both sides of 7th Street and both sides of 4th Street. Now how many people do you, would you say are in that area? Oh gosh. A thousand. Honestly, a thousand people. We've not count. We've not counted. It's just it's overwhelming, yeah. really. Do you know? We prioritize folks who are kind of the, the most vulnerable, who we can't expect to necessarily go in and seek services inside. And then we're also looking for uh, health, high health acuity, so they're also vulnerable medically. And that's because we work very closely with the Housing for Health program, and we're able to get people indoors more quickly if they're high utilizers of the county medical services or if they have you know, chronic serious medical conditions. And so we're looking for those folks to try and get them housed like that. This year we've housed 158 people on Skid Row alone, and we expect to go far beyond that. Now where's the sobering center at? Right on the other side of the parking structure. Okay. We're headed to the sobering center, which is a new uh, addition to the support services here on uh, Skid Row. Um, is a warm and safe environment where clients can be brought in by LAPD or uh, an outreach team or community partner in the Skid Row area to be able to provide um, a place where they can sober up with us. So, so anyone that's high, that's intoxicated can come in, can um, stay with us for 6 to 12 hours, um, sober up, and in that time we're going to work on some type of discharge plan um, to be able to link them to services uh, but if they you know choose not to then they can go ahead and, and leave the facility but at least they did not access jails they didn't access the hospital and they're not like on the sidewalk yeah drunk or high it saves it saves lives and it saves money exactly mm -hmm. it saves lives and it saves money <laughs> yes it does <laughs> we bring them to this area so for coach will immediately engage the individual and if they're so soiled where um, they need a shower or maybe they have lice or scabies, we can take a mic to the shower there and treat them. Uh, they can go into the intake room and start the intake process and immediately be assessed. We take miles or at that particular time and then we escort them to the back. They're contracted under PHS and so they're looking at expanding sobering centers in other communities that have Homeless, a high homeless population. Okay. Ready to go? Yep. yep. Okay. As many of you know, I used to hit, hit the streets with nurses in Canada uh, doing outreach. So this is really exciting going out with uh, nurses and a uh, bunch of service providers in Skid Row. Oh my gosh, this is awesome! So we only went a block on Skid Row after the sobering center and the team found somebody who wanted to access the services at the sobering center. We escorted an individual that apparently from what we were observing was lacking sleep. He was hungry, that he did state that. Um, he wanted to take a shower, he wanted to get cleaned up, so we directed him to the sobering center where it is that he can um, be able to do all those things. He can put some food into his belly and, and uh, catch up on some sleep because it was apparent that he was lacking sleep. So, um, and sleep deprivation out here could kill you. It could, it could, yeah. it definitely, definitely could.
we need more C3 teams, we need more throughout the city. Uh, this is Skid Row obviously, but uh, where I was by LAX, and you're seeing this in Hollywood, and you're seeing this in the Valley. Uh, ten communities are growing drastically around Los Angeles. Mm, Los Angeles County people live here. We gotta take action. We gotta do something. We we've got to take care of these people. It's gonna get worse unless we do something now.